Well, here we are, brothers and sisters. Another day. Another. Uh, I was sent out for a, to run an errand, and here I am photographing the river again. And I got this thing about rivers and trees. And fishermen. I like fishermen, they're the nicest people in the world. <laughs> people that fish. <laughs> they're just as kind as they can be. Every time I come down here. Every time I come down here, I see somebody and I get away from them over here where bother the fishing. And I'll tell you some uh, fish tales of <laughs> things that have happened to me, if I can remember them. <laughs> My dad talked about them. Oh, look at you. Anyway, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Oh, can you see it? Oh, you can barely see it over there through the... Uh, you can't see it, but anyway, there's a dam up there or a hop where the mill has raised the river level to and run a powerhouse where there used to be a power a, a, a powerhouse and they would run the cotton mill off of the power. It's an old hop. They call it a hop or a back, it's not really a dam because a dam would, uh, but it raised the, the river level and uh, up high enough for them to generate electricity. But anyway, I was fishing right up around that man, going across there, right below the uh, the the, the uh, hop where the water would come over the top. You know, and it goes up and down according to how they generate and everything. But anyway, I was out there fishing, walking on the rocks, and. Uh, I slid off into the water, right up there. I had my fishing pole and I wasn't about to drop my fishing pole. So I, I was swimming upstream, which was the craziest thing in the world to do. And I, cause I saw the rock right in front of me. There was a rock right in front of me. All I had to do was reach out and grab it, but <laughs> the current kept pushing me back. And I still have my rod and reel. I, it wasn't so desperate that I dropped my rod and reel yet. So I didn't drop it. And I uh, had my tackle around my neck and everything. But anyway, I started getting tired swimming, trying to get to that rock. I said, every time I get, almost I could grab it. And it washed me on down, you know, a little bit. Finally, I says, I just give up. <laughs> I just give up because I was getting tired. I see how people drown now. I was a great swimmer. I've always been a real strong swimmer, but I see how people can die in this river. But anyway, I just gave up and let the river carry me where it wanted to carry me. And on down uh, 30 something, 30, 40 yards, and on down the river maybe, it washed me up on a rock <laughs> and I was safe, you know. But anyway, just a little, uh, a little tip there, if you ever get caught in a, in a current, don't fight the current and waste all your strength like that. I learned the hard way, almost uh, tired myself out there. And I was a, a, an instructor, a life-saving instructor in school. <laughs> I had all my badges, but you know, when I was young, man. Anyway, I just want to come and show you this river. Now that they uh, looks like they're letting some water through here. It's pretty high. I bet the fishing's gonna be good pretty soon. I can say right out there, you don't see the rocks now, do you? You can see where they are. See the current there. People tear their boats up when they come right over there because some 
the uh, rocks will be right under that water there. You have to come over here. I forget where the best place to go is, but there is a best place to. The old timers know how to get up here without uh, without tearing their boats up. And the flat bottom aluminum was king down here for a long time because they don't take much wake. You know, you just uh, you just uh, doesn't take much to float in that uh, one of them. You know. Anyway, no trespassing. Oh, that's somebody's house over there. They got a nice view, haven't they? But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I told that little story about the true story, and I got <laughs> dozens more of uh, how uh, uh, in the nick of time. <laughs> Uh, different deliverances over the years, you know, that can't be, can't be just explained away by happenstance. Peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama.